So, this is the Bureau of Economic Analysis website where we're going to find the data. The Bureau of Economic Analysis is part of the US Department of Commerce and uh, they have a lot of data about the economy in there. So we're going to go over here where it says data and we're going to choose by topic. So let's click on topic. Let's try and make it work like it's supposed to. So and we're looking at consumer spending. So we click on consumer spending and then we go over here and we click on consumer spending again. And now we need to scroll down and select interactive data. And the tables we want are the underlying detail tables, not the summaries, but the underlying detail. The summaries only tell the aggregate national picture. But we want detail that drills down into expenditures on, on clothing products. So um, here we go. Personal consumption expenditures are in section two. So let's select this. And then here's a series of confusing tables. Price indices, personal consumption ex expenditures by major type of product. Um, the one we actually want is down here. Personal consumption expenditures by type of product. Major type of product, again, is just kind of the main headings, not the... Um, not the detail that we want. So we want personal consumption expenditures by type of product. And then A, Q, and M refer to annual data, quarterly data, and monthly data. So let's click and open this. Here we go. So um, it opens up the table, and we can scroll down this table. It defaults, gives us 2017 through 2019. Um, this is quarterly um, data that it's giving us, and you can see in the left-hand column there's the total here, PCE, but this is the, ab aggr the aggregate of all personal consumption expenditures. And then the detail goes down here, how much is spent on new motor vehicles, domestic motor vehicles, foreign aut autos, and so on. And we need to scroll down quite a long way to find clothing, which is under non-durable goods and, and jewelry is here under other durable goods and then clothing comes under non-durable goods below food and alcohol and so on so here's clothing and footwear with different lines so line 102 here is total clothing and footwear and then line 103 is is garments not footwear and then line 104 is women's and girls clothing 105 is men's and boys clothing. So your assignments are based on these categories. And um, so um, we're going to download this table, but I've given you a different um, um, set of years or time periods to do. So let me show you how you can select the, the time period and the years that you need. So first of all, for those of you who are doing the quarterly data, it's already selected as quarters. I'm sorry, I clicked on the Modify button there on that page. And it says the first year is, is 2017. So I think I said go and do 2014 um, to 2019. And um, we can actually select 2019. There's, not a, there's no data yet for 2020. And then we can refresh the table. And now it'll think about it. And then when it comes back, here we go. Here's data from quarter one, 2014, through the end of 2019. So, um, and now you can download that data um, to your computer by clicking this button. But let's go there later. Ignore the chart function because I want you to do the chart in Excel, not online. So let's say um, I gave you the, the monthly data to do. So the monthly data, you just need two years. You need 2018 and you need 2019. So those of you who are saying, oh, that's not fair, I'm doing many years. But actually, all of you have about the same number of data points. Um, so two years is 24 data points um, for months. So let's refresh the table now. And we should see just 2018 and 2019. Here we go, January, February, March, April, May. And now here is monthly consumer spending for the last two years. 
and um, now for those of you who are doing annual data so let's click modify again and um, I think I told you guys to go back to 1996 if you look down if you're curious which some of you are it goes all the way back to 1959 but we just want to go to 1996 I think and 2019 thereabouts so um, and we're choosing annual so click on annual for this 24-year time series so there we go 1996 through 2019 so let's download that table and we can select that it's going to download into an Excel table and um, that popped into the area below my recorded screen but if I click on it from the downloads sector on my uh, bottom menu bar here it comes up and um, the column with the descriptors is squished so you can take this um, take the cursor up here click it down um, when you get this double headed arrow and just pull it out until it all becomes visible and then you can see your data and then you can start working with it and that is described in the next video.